Okay, so what I'm going to go over is uh, skin tones. Uh, I've been asked before, how do I get the skin tones, you know, working for, for my artwork here. Um, I have like X amount of time during the day. Uh, I have a full-time job. So I know the traditional way is uh, you get blue, yellow, blue, yellow, red, and either white or black, depending on if you want to go darker or lighter. Um... If I'm not mistaken, that's how it goes. Uh, you mix them together and, you know, you adjust as you go and you get different uh, skin tones there. I, on the other hand, I have, like, very little time and very little patience. Uh, this is the way I do it. So, if you guys want to check out other videos on how to do it you know, the traditional way, you know, the artist way, or, you know, feel free to, to do so. Um, I've looked at videos before. Uh, this is just how I do it. I mean, you can... If you have your own way of doing it, cool. Uh, if you just want a different idea of how to do skin tones uh, using a different method, uh, then I'll give you what I do. So, what I do is, uh, first off, these are the colors I use. I use white, titanium white, and I use the brand Liquitex. I'm comfortable with this brand, so I've been using it for, ever since I started painting, so I'm familiar with that, and I'm comfortable with Liquitex. So, titanium, titanium white Liquitex and burnt sienna Liquitex. I don't know if you can see there. Uh, you can't really. I'll, I'll, I'll put the names on, on the video of the ones I use here. And then also, this one's Artist Loft. I don't really care for Artist Loft, but the portrait pink is, I've found to be very useful. So, see. As you see here, I got, you know, the base color from Moana. I'm doing a Moana bit for uh, a friend of mine. Um, and, you know, I mixed colors already in there. So, you know, I got her main color, her main skin tone. And, you know, she's she's pretty tanned. You know, she's uh, Polynesian. If I'm not mistaken. Polynesian? No, not Hawaiian. It's Moan. Pretty sure it's Polynesian. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, uh, so, you know, so, so she's tanned. You know, like I am. She's not going to be this color, and she's not going to be a lighter shade of this color. Uh, so what I did is mixed a little bit of white, a little bit of this, mixed it up, and I added a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. Am I pronouncing that right? Sienna? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's sienna. So now what I do is with, you know, I have a picture in front of me for reference on where the color's going to be. So the shading is going to be, you know, like down here around here, here, so, again, it's different skin tones, see, I still have enough of, uh, of what I was using, you know what, let me add a little bit more, so, a little bit of white, a little bit of this portrait pink by Artist Law, and I get these at Michael's, uh, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before, but, if you don't want to, you know, go pro find supplies, just go to Michael's, Joann's, and always look at their coupons. No, no, Michael's is, uh, they'll accept coupons from Joann's, just let them know. Hey, I got a 60% off uh, any regular price item at Joann's, uh, or coupon from Joann's, and I use it here. And they have, like, their own barcodes, so I don't think I've ever paid full price for anything with Michael's. So, anyway, so as we're going on, uh... So I got a good mix right there, and it's a little light, so what I do is I'll grab that. Hopefully you can see it. I'll just mix it in. So the dark if I want darker, you know, I add more of the brown. If I want lighter, I just add more white. So the main ones is the white and the portrait pink. And if I want to go lighter, I add a little bit more white. If I want to go darker, I add more of the burnt sienna. sienna. It's about the same color, so I want to go a little darker. And I always put a little bit, just so I don't overdo it. And if I need more, I just add more. Hopefully you can see 
looks darker. So that's what I started off with over here. That's a darker shade. So do is another thing I've always been asked: How do I do my shading with acrylic? Because I blend it in. Apparently, I blend it. In. I don't know. Like I, it, it, to me, all of it is practice, trial and error. Uh, I'm a self-taught, self-taught artist. Sorry, can't even speak right now. Uh, so all this I kind of just learned by experimenting, trying on different things. If I really don't have any clue, YouTube, uh, Google, uh, ask other artists. Uh, that's another thing, you know. Ask other artists. As an artist, I don't mind people asking me questions. I've answered a couple here on this channel. Uh, and, you know, it's a great way to, to get help or tips. Maybe, you know, you're stomped on something and you didn't think of it until you asked. So, ask away in YouTube videos and Google. Anyways, so, I see over there she got darker here. So, just add dark. Da, 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 da. Add a little bit darker there. And you notice how my brush isn't like super perfect. Let me see. Focus on that. Yeah, I'm having a hard time focusing. But you see how it's like, you know, pretty bushy. Uh, I use it a lot, so. To me, these are the best ones, so I just kind of blend it in. And I softly blend it in on the edges. You know, I go kind of rough in, in the darker spots and I just blend out. And then like, once I get that going, you see the difference there? On the edges, I just softly like, run the brush around the edges. And just pull it. Start with the arms. So. Well, you can see it more. Right? So you can see what I'm doing here. I've always been asked. Like, I remember in high school, a buddy of mine that would sit would see me doodle and stuff and say how do you know where to shade and all that um it's all well i'm going off a reference here but i have a picture in front of me but if i didn't it's just a matter of where this light's coming from that's where the you know obviously the darker area is going to be at the back towards the back or you know if it's hitting here it's going to be dark here sitting back here it's going to be dark over here um it's the best way i can explain it that's how I explained it to him. I wonder if he's, if he ever if he ever did anything with art. I know he was a tagger. I was always asked why don't I tag. Well, I don't tag because I'm not good at tagging. I was good at anime. I was good at um, comic book heroes. See, so, and yeah, I just kind of just slightly like with the edge of this, I just slightly brush. So it's not, so it looks more blended in, like more naturally blended than just like straight lines and globs and. Like I said, this is for. It's this is a uh, one of four pieces because it's going to be a long. We didn't have the size we wanted. So I had to improvise and do four 12 by 12. So it's gonna be a pretty long piece. And the old brushes. Well, this one's about to fall off. Let's see. A few more. A few more paintings. Um, but I like the old worn out brushes for this. Alright, 
So, you know what? I'm going to do a time lapse here. So, um, speed this up a bit and you'll be able to see, you know, in a time lapse, uh, just a little bit quicker. Okay, so I'm done with the skin. Moving my chair there. So, obviously it looks weird because uh, it's just skin. There's nothing else colored in. But here's the gist of, um, of what I do. So, you see, you know, I blend in. Uh, I try to blend in as good as I can. And like I said, I use that with the brush. Uh, I'll go in with lighter touches for highlights and all that. Um, but this is just more, more or less just a video to give you an idea of different skin tones and what I do to get those different shades. And see like here I got one color, then another color, then a darker color. And the same thing will wrap her, her face, her neck. Like I said, I'm not done yet. I just want to do a quick video uh, on this since I get asked about it. And uh, you no, know, I will post a video of the final work. I am recording this for, for my buddy. And uh, so you'll be able to see the timeless video of the process of the entire painting. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and do leave those in the comment section. Uh, I hope this video helped. If um, you're struggling with skin tones and needed a quick and easy way to get different different colors there, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So until next video, you guys have a good one. And like I said, any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Bye.